Okay. We're back. After a few days of not streaming. Technically a week, because I wasn't able to stream Wednesday because, uh... The, the internet just decided that I didn't have good upload speeds and I couldn't stream. Up until... 9, 10 p.m. that day. It was just completely terrible. For no fucking reason. And then it just fixed itself. I don't know what that was about, and it pissed me off, because I was totally ready to stream, and yet fucking... No. And then for every day after that, it's either been work, and work kicked my ass this week, uh, bad scheduling, bad timing, or just not having the energy to stream. It was not- I, I wanted to stream more last week, but it was not a good week for me. And yesterday went pretty well for me. Thankfully, so I feel pretty good about this. I was gonna start earlier, but uh, sleep, which is also why I didn't stream last Tuesday. But uh, yeah, th that's nothing new. And I'm sorry about that, but uh, yeah. I'm feeling better now. I'm feeling like we could probably get some streaming done, hopefully more. Even though we're starting late and I'm gonna have to cut Pokemon a little short today, but uh, yeah. I don't know, like... I mean, when I say work kicked my ass, I mean, you know, less the work itself and more just because it's, like, a customer service thing, like, I deal with a lot of customers. That was the fucking terrible part. Absolutely horrid, this, especially Saturday. My god, I was ready to... Well, I was ready to scream because I did a lot in my car, but that's, that's not... That's... That's not important. How are you doing, Futaba? Futaba. Too many people. Can't do it. Wanna go home? Yikes, are you okay, Futaba? I thought you said, I thought you said school had gotten you used to crowds. I underestimated the, sh the summer vacation edition of Shibuya. The swarm party of partiers is just too much for me. And even ignoring that, going up to people I don't know and eavesdropping on them or pumping them for intel is way out of my league. Don't stress yourself over it. That's true. He's right. Leave this to us. You've got the front- you've got the online front locked down, Futaba. Be helpful. I can lend you a hand, Futaba. We can both lock down the online front. Oh, thanks, Sophia. Time to join forces uh, as a cyber sleuth tag team. Okay, I'll help however you'd like. Nice recruiting, Futaba. We're counting on you two. Thanks! Thanks for talking to me, guys. I'm feeling a little more confident. We're comfortable out here now. Oh, hey! Why don't you take this, Ren, for helping me out? <laughs> May it aid you on your quest for intel. Salty papaya. The fuck? My. What do you mean, salty papaya? <laughs> like the fruit? Okay. Whatever. Oh, uh, speaking of uh, Persona 5 characters, uh, I, I actually, actually, because uh, there's some, as you saw when we started this playthrough, there's some linkage to Smash Ultimate because there's no Persona 5. On Switch for some fucking reason, so we have uh, Ultimate integration instead because Joker and Smash. So I uh, loaded up Smash Ultimate. We're doing some video stuff. Ignore the Ganon photos. This is for uh, maybe a video today, maybe tomorrow, Wednesday. I don't know. It'll be out soon, but uh, that's not the point. The point is when I started the game up after having uh, Persona 5 Strikers save data, or I guess I played it. I got a Sophia Spirit. So yeah, that's nice. Just a fun little bonus to have. I'm not like super crazy into collecting spirits in the game, but uh, yeah, nice, nice to, nice to have. Interesting. Alice is more popular than I had imagined. I wouldn't be able to avoid hearing people speak of her, but even if I wanted to. So, Alice in Wonderland. I admit it's an intriguing, and visually striking space to work within as an artist. You know. Well, all right, use book kiosk. Hmm. How can I help you? Looks like there isn't anything in here about the rumors surrounding Alice. We'll just have to ask around. Maybe in the smoking area? You never know. 
Look at all the puffy smoke. It must be hard being crammed in such a, such a small area. Hmm? I mean, yeah, but isn't that like most of Japan? Like, isn't the whole place like pretty crowded? Or at least the city parts. So. I mean, I wouldn't know my, my rural li living ass. Actually, I don't know if it's more rural or suburban. Probably a little closer to suburban, I guess. I don't know. We, sh we should focus on gathering information. Why don't you ask around this at Station Square on Central Street? Yeah, like I'm the first one to say that. You're not going to leave, are you? We're supposed to gather information on Alice. Isn't this where we're supposed to be? Oh, I see. It's an arrow over here. Good old ro road. Where's the road? Dude. I think I found someone that was in the jail. Can you come by the alley behind the airsoft shop? <gasps> airsoft shop. Hey, on. <sighs> I knew people went crazy for her stuff, but this is something else. I keep hearing stories about relationships going south, even folks ending up hospitalized for exhaustion, and Alice's name always comes up. Could she really have something to do with all of it? But how? And why? Oh, yeah. I guess there's no point getting stressed over it. Now. Oh, I know. Are you hungry? No good ideas on an empty stomach, you know. I'm gonna grab a crepe and start the brainstorm. Yay. I already know what kind I want, too. Extra chocolate and extra whipped cream. Oh, and maybe I'll have them add strawberries. Oh, I'm about to burst. Gotta make room for seconds. Really? Then there's no reason to not go all out at this point. Let's throw a triple scoop of vanilla and the full mixed berry toppings on there. No. If I, I mean, I don't know, maybe cause I have, have I, I don't think I've ever had a crepe. I guess I'm thinking of like getting toppings on ice cream or whatever. Let me in. I wanna be in, I wanna be in the selfie stick photo. Oh. But yeah, I guess when I think about that, I usually just think about putting toppings on ice cream. And I usually try not to go too overboard because it's like, I'm there for ice cream, not all the toppings. But at the same time, some of those toppings, man, I mean, I don't know. Hey. Sometimes you just want to get loaded up on shit. Check out the guy with the brown hair. Wasn't he at Alice's thing? Hmm? Hmm? Come on, man. I need the money, please. Again? I just lent you money for all your Alice obsessed bullshit. I know, but there's this but there's a new Alice original coming out and I really, really need it. Like, I won't even be able to think or breathe if I don't get it. That guy with the brown hair, it's the same guy we saw before, right? Dude, why are you suddenly obsessed over some random ass idol in the first place? Are you serious though? You actually went to a loan shark? I can't believe you. So he's borrowing from shady lenders only to get shady merchandise in return. That ain't normal. And didn't the other guy say he got suddenly obsessed? Could it be the influence of the metaverse? Maybe. Let's see. There aren't a lot of people past here. We'll have better luck gathering information if we head back. Hmm? Hmm? Airsoft shop. Hmm. Aw, temporarily closed. That means Y is not here. I figured Y would know about Shibuya, but there's not much we can do if he's not here. So Shut up. Who said that? Is that you? I heard it from over here. Calm down. Hey, Haru. How are you? <sighs> I peeked into a store in 705 a few months ago, a few moments ago, and all the customers had that invitation card. Her number of friends is probably increasing as we speak. Rough. Hello. Alice? Is this an interview or something? Sorry, but I hate her guts. Go ask someone else. Alice is the type who toys with people's lives. She only cares about fans lining her pockets. Alright, I guess that's info. Welcome to the Big Bang Burger! Open 24 hours a day because there's no day or night in space. Hi. 
sure how that's, that's how it works. But you know what? 20 to all allies. I just... Mm. Have you decided? Oh, do they only have four? Wait. Have you decided? Fine, I'll take uh, I'll take three for now. Thank you so much. See you again. It's always good to have an all heal item, even if it's not that good. Hmm? Alice? Of course I've heard of her. Everyone in class has. Especially the boys. They love her. My friend's boyfriend even went as far as breaking off their relationship. All because he suddenly all because he took a sudden interest in Alice. I know she's cute and all, but cute enough to leave somebody behind? Hmm? Are you gonna get something to drink? Oh, Shiruko. So good it makes you say, Oh! And then, Moronamin. G. Practically liquid caffeine. Muscle tea. Wait, mm -hmm. NP? No, it's all HP. Alright, I don't need that. Oh. Hang on a sec, one more one more time. No, it's all to one ally. I figured it was like, oh, it was to all allies for 10. And that would save me so much more than a Big Bang Burger. Hey, hey. Bookstores in the city have so much more variety. It's a shame we don't have time to read right now. But there's people in the book. Actually, to be fair, people wouldn't be talking in the bookstore, would they? At least not for like an Alice thing. Welcome! Alice Alice Hiraki? Oh, do you mean the Alice clothing line? Why well, yes, we do carry it. But I'm so sorry, we're all sold out. We only put them out 10 minutes ago, but the fans came in and swiped them all up. I'm so sorry that you missed it. Really? Wow, gone in 10 minutes? I guess it's possible, but those fans have some dedication to buy it out so fast. But let's be sure to remember this. Morgana remembered. The employees look as busy as ever. I feel exhausted just watching them. Food service, man. I'm real. I'm, I'm really. I'm just thankful that I work somewhere where it's like the food service is only like a small part of it. Because when it's only a small part of it, it's actually kind of fun. It's a, it's a nice break away from your main stuff. But when food is the main thing and you're not a very fast worker like me, um. Yeah, very very stressful. <laughs> I, I feel I, I feel for pet you know food workers and stuff. It's hard work. So dragon like a yakuza is finally out. <sighs> I can't just go by myself though. Oh, you mean yakuza like a dragon? You know, I still need to get back to playing yakuza. I'm like ten hours into yakuza zero, by which I mean I just got to Majima's part. I really want to get back to it. I was gonna start streaming on Friday, but. We're on Fridays, because, you know, Friday night, it worked. But, uh, yeah. Should I grab a couple tickets? <gasps> How long have you been there? No need. The poster just caught my eye, is all. Anyway, I heard quite a few employees at the theater were let go all of a sudden. And the rumor is, it's because it's all because they weren't fans of Alice. What's that about? No one gets fired for such an absurd reason without something going on behind the scenes. What do you mean you fired me because I didn't like the Disney live-action remakes? How dare you! They suck! Hi, welcome! Our meat buns are always fresh and piping hot. Got whatever you need. It's all just... Oh, actually... That's a popular choice. Yeah, I'll buy three of those. Thank you very much. Stop by again, okay? Oh. Oh, uh, right, before, you know, I, I should mention that I am working with my, uh, alternate audio filter, or mic filters today. So, like, this is the one I usually use. It, it, it's the one I'm, I, I still feel fine about, but I want to try and improve on. And then this is the one I'm trying to work out more. I want to get, like, a whole stream's worth of audio for this, though, just to make sure it's all right. I mean, there's still more things I want to do. Like, I want to try to get a mic filter with, like... No, we already went there. I want to try to get a mic filter with, like, um... Way... That's way better at picking up my audio from... You know, being closer to my mouth. Just being, like, quieter. So it's, it's better for night streams. Maybe chiller night streams. I don't know. Hey there. Q 
interest to me. Super um, <laughs> they only have two? What? For Aoki? For Aoki? Oh, that's that's actual story. No, it's hot and sour tea. And then brainwash as well. Why can I only get two of these? That's weird. Thanks. Thanks. Oh, here's what I missed. The man playing ultimate. You could really get lost in here. What can I get for you? You'd like here's to order Dizzy. That. I'll make sure to get that. Oh, they have plenty here. Here's your order. Suit and towel. Like here's to rage. Thanks. You'd like to order that? You'd Donut like to worry. Order You'd like to order that? Here. Come back anytime. You know, I, I just like to have enough things to make sure I'm ready for status ailments. Like whenever I play Pokemon, I try to get like three to five of each status effect hey. thing. Anything interesting playing? Not that we have time to watch a movie right now. All right, then what are we supposed to do? Where do we go? I've already talked to everyone. Oh wait, i has got something different. See you later. Once I've had my brain food, I'll get back to gathering intel and putting it all together. Stay hydrated, okay, Ren? It's a hot one. It's a hot one. Oh yeah, speaking of which, remember when I said last stream when it was, it was nice how things were warming up? And how it's starting to feel going to the summer? Well, it's funny because the, ne the next time I was going to stream, which was Wednesday, and even now still, it's back to being in the fucking 50s. Low 50s and like high 40s. God damn it. <laughs> and it's been raining like all week. Whack. At first, I figured he might be one of them from that whacked out look in his eyes, and yep, ain't no mistake in that kind of crazy. Damn it! That dude in front of that dude in front of Buchiko is acting pretty much the same, right? No way, that's a coincidence. I'm just kind of trying to look for whatever. Any new dialogue? I'm pretty sure I got all the stores here. Oh, Makoto's got something. I'm going to ask around a little more about it. Let me know when you're calling it a day and we can regroup. Alright, not now. I gotta pay more attention to when people have things to say. I don't want to do repeat dialogue, but... Oh. Hmm. Isn't having the lockers this far from the station kind of inconvenient? Sports, sports, sports. Exercising is a good thing, but we need to focus on Alice for right now. I mean, we can look up stuff on- we can look up, like, articles online while we're mm -hmm. working on a treadmill. There's nothing over there, remember? Let's go back before the heat gets unbearable. It's not that great. I guess we'll go back to Station Square. Da -da 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 oh, here we go. Oh, it's the top again. Okay, Sophia, send me all the data you can find in any aberrational behavior reported in the area recently. Start with the last two weeks. Leave it to me. Got it. I'll send them your way in just a moment. Best of luck with the analysis, Futaba. So. Alright, well, uh... I guess I don't know where to go now. Maybe here? So. Please, I just want to know the rumors. I want to be in the know. So that I can move on. She's my fae. I must have missed the store or something. How can I help you? See you again. I went to the pharmacy. I went to the convenience store. I went to them over there. Hey, hey. Nothing to do there. The arcade, of course. What is this place? 
It looks interesting. So shiny. The arcade's usually empty. We probably won't get much information here. So karaoke bar. We can't really ask around in here. Let's try somewhere else. Why not? It's a car- Well, I guess it's more of like a private kind of area with karaoke bars. Not that I've ever been to one. Not that I've ever been to a real arcade, either. I don't think I ever really went to the arcade much in uh, Persona 5. Hmm? Let's see. Like, it was kind of a problem because there's that kid who, like, teaches you different gun techniques. And I didn't really know about him until, like, <laughs> one of the last couple of chapters of the game. Hmm? Come on, man. I need the money. Please. It's, okay, it's, it's the same. Let's see. Well now, I don't know where to go now. Hmm? Hmm? Oh, hmm? it's this asshole. It's this one asshole who I needed to hear about, wasn't it? Just completely unmarked. I just need the. Okay. Alice, you're so freaking adorable. No one could ever compare to you. I'll, I'll do anything for you. Buy your fancy jewelry. Take you out to the finest restaurants. I'd sign my life over to you if I could. Hmm? This guy's completely lost it. It's like he can't even see us. I've heard of being crazy for someone, but this is way too far. Fuck you, buddy. I call this is basically just an Ace Attorney investigation. It's like we just kind of gather around looking for information and then bam, we're done. Moving on with the plot. How is the information search going? Well, why don't we meet up and share what we've gathered what are you so far? Do? Hmm. Makoto's got a good point. Should we gather everyone up? I want to sniff out more room. No, let's do it. What's true? All right, let's go meet up at the connecting bridge. Also, if you're wondering why I'm starting with Persona 5 uh, Strikers today rather than po New Pokemon Snap, it's because it's a little easier to stop playing so New Snap. Go. Anyone learn anything useful about potential victims? Like, I don't have to worry about overextending with saves, so I'll probably be playing this first from now on, just because I can kind of stop around when I want to with New Snap and all of that. Yeah, we spotted a couple familiar faces. We found some of the people who were attacked in the jail. You really found them? Which means the ones ambushed in the jail were indeed only their shadows and not their human forms. But there's still one thing. They're all acting real weird. Weird how? They're all totally crazy for Alice. They're even getting loans so they can buy more shit at her store. That's pretty weird. How do they have the credit score for that? Hmm. Now that you mention it, I saw others behaving similarly in Shibuya. Yeah, like this one couple nearly splitting up when the boyfriend bought everything Alice related he could find. There were even people let go from their jobs because they weren't Alice fans themselves. I've even found some reports of Alice fans straight up assaulting outspoken critics of hers. At first I figured Alice was just the latest fad, but this seems so much worse than that. Maybe the people who had the desires taken from them went crazy. If that's the case, then we have to do something. Agreed. If such aberrant behavior continues to rise, we could easily find ourselves in an unwinnable position. With the metaverse involved, we're the only people who can stop this. Mm-hmm. We have to help. It looks like you've finished gathering intel on Alice's victims. Would you like to investigate her next? Oh, that's weird. Tomorrow is do or die time. Or, uh, that's right, I guess. Yep, let's break for today and pick this back up tomorrow after your trip. Oh, so we've been tomorrow either way. Okay. Good luck with the Alice visit, you three. Thanks. We're on it. I mean, in reality, this is just, this would just be the kind of situation people get into anyways with like idols and whatever. Or Eminem, I guess. Oh, heading out? Don't be too late coming back. Like you could just replace any mention of the word of the name Alice with Slim Shady, and this would be the same fucking fantastic. thing. Metaverse wouldn't even be a thing. Oh, 
Thanks. A certain TV studio filming location. So this is going out live, huh? Even I'm starting to get a little nervous. You still good? No, I've been here too many times. Hey, stay in the bag. If they find out we brought a pet in here, they'll kick us out. A pet? Behave yourself in there. Oh, well, I guess if I can't be seen, you two do your best to blend in too. We're fine. All we're gonna do is watch. Should I also make efforts to blend in? Yeah, just hang tight for a bit, Sophia. No prob. She's trying. Oh, here she comes. Miss Alice on the set! Oh, she really is adorable. Trotting back from commercial. Back in five, four, three. And now, on to the hottest meet and greet segment of the show. We have a special guest with us today. She has taken the fashion world by storm and conquered it. Please welcome the designer, Alice Hiragi. I can't imagine sitting down in an outfit like that. Uh, thanks for having me. <laughs> Thank you for joining us, Alice. You sure have been keeping busy these days, haven't you? It's only thanks to all my fans that I've been able to do what I do. Like, it's probably comfortable. Like, it's probably, like, cushioned thanks to, like, the, the, the poofy, and the poofy, like, like things going on. Talk about strong support. Like, I'd imagine it, like, you know, crinkles up or wrinkles the outfit. I don't know. Am I wrong to presume that you designed the outfit you're wearing today? It's just so cute. Very expressive. <laughs> Thank you so much! The theme of my current line is Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> I feel like fashion is a rare and beautiful thing that can take anyone into a world built on their dreams. Fair enough. You can find a side to yourself that maybe you didn't even know you had. Fashion can do so much for us. I try my hardest to focus on that whenever I design a new piece. Such wise words from a successful industry veteran. What inspiration originally spurred you into fashion design, if you don't mind? <laughs> to be honest, I was very shy growing up. I didn't have any friends at school. I would get so lonely. I wanted to change so much, but I just couldn't figure out how to do it. Then, one day, I saw the most beautiful dress in a shop window. When I put it on, the whole world felt new. It was like I was hit with this blinding ray of light. And then I realized I can buy friends. I really can change. That's what wearing it made me think. I strive each day to give that same feeling to every person who tries on one of my designs. I want to give that ray of light to others. That's what inspired me to enter the fashion industry. Really? Huh. Yeah, nice story, I guess. <laughs> now I can see why the young people love you so much. How do you handle all the dating... rumors? Bruh. Uh, uh... <sighs> what? Oh, no. Uh... going on? I don't get it. Careful, he's about to take off all his clothes. Is this some kind of scripted thing? I wonder what's wrong. This is just an <laughs> off-kilter okay? Conan bit. Alice, I... I love you, Alice. Please, spend your life with me. What? <laughs> Step on him like you stepped on me. Uh, hey, what is all this, huh? I didn't realize until now. I love you! Uh, this is really out of the blue. Alright, stop it! <laughs> yeah, this bit's going on a little too long. I mean it! I can't live without you! What? What, what the hell? And what about me, asshole? <laughs> is this real? Those two are engaged already, right? Ooh. Wow, what a train wreck. I can't believe this. Cut the commercial! Now! I am begging you, Alice, please! Just shut up already! What has happened to you? What 
is this mess? <laughs> she knows! Huh. That... That was actually live on TV, right? Maybe. Ooh, can't believe he spilled his beans like that. Even I thought he went overboard with it. So, then do you think... Not sure if spilled his beans would have been a good way to say it, but... That host had his desire taken by Alice? Maybe. Like... I'd what say definitely, kind of but I guess Ren's a little suspicious. True. He didn't seem like he was in his right frame of mind. Like he wasn't even there and someone else was controlling him. Morgana, that's it! I don't know if all this is right, but his personality changed like when someone's heart was stolen. After the treasure? Maybe Alice can control anyone whose desire she steals. If the desire is turned over to the ruler, they wind up under their control. Like with Alice. I see. That would really explain it. Amazing as always, Lady On. It's kind of like a reverse of what the, the Phantom Thieves did in the first game. Well, I mean, because if you if you had like um, killed them in the metaverse, then they would actually like die or whatever. And we saw that happen, but like, you know, where instead of them turning around for the better, they start to actually turn around and like start to go weird and all that. But that would mean. She's brainwashing people. Yeah, looks like it. <laughs> Alice said she wants to be a ray of light for people. That's what I've always wanted, too. I read about her in a magazine once, and I just really felt where she was coming from. It's why I asked to come to the show in the first place. I wanted to see her in person. But now, I wonder if that was all just... Lady On. <laughs> Man, that was great! That was... Alice? Quick, hide! Miss Probably Alice, hide the cat, too. This is a public hall. Please, you must keep your voice down. Eh, uh, it's fine. See? No one in sight. <laughs> anyway, though, did you see that lady's face? She totally lost it up there. It was kind of funny. All those cushy, talking head types make the best faces when things finally stop going their way. Miss Alice, do you think you could stop doing these things? Huh? What do you mean? I was the victim on stage. Oh, okay, I see how it is. <laughs> what is it that you want me to stop doing? I... I don't know how you're doing it, or why, but after seeing that, there has to be something. You... Oh! So you want me to punish you again? Ah, please! I'm sorry! She's gonna step on him! Oh, oops! <laughs> what a terrible accident! The only difference between this Alice and the Metaverse Alice, or whatever it is, is that this one just wears a poofy dress. Just like what happened on set. A terrible accident. I'm still upset over it too, you know. Isn't it your job to take my side? Or are you asking to end up broken like my last manager? Do you want to get stuck up in your room like he is? Ugh. Well, it doesn't matter anyway. I don't want toys that don't do as they're told. Stop! This is fucked. Then beg me to forgive you until it hurts as much as you hurt me with your words. Why don't you do what you did yesterday? Grovel with your face all messed up with snot. I'll take another video if you like. Come on, beg. Do it! Do it! I'm not gonna stop until you do, got it? You're just doing this right in the hall? <sighs> hey, the guy sounds like he's in real pain. If she doesn't cut it out... CBT. Hey, stop! Uh, and who is this? 
about the sadistic crap? It was way too far. You said you wanted to be a ray of light for people. How the hell does that help? Uh. Oh, <laughs> we were just playing around, weren't we? Yeah. So you'll go get the car now? Oh, hey, wait! Hang on, uh, are you on Takamaki? Uh, you know who I am? Look, let's not call the man a simp. He's just trying to keep his job, okay? Yeah! I know all the models. I read every fashion magazine the day it comes out. Actually, I really admire you. Would you like to be friends? Run! <laughs> you obviously got Emma, right? <laughs> My keyword is... Wonderland. Don't bother. Also, I like how Magrana is just like poking, poking his head out of the bag. It's adorable. I'd never accept someone who treats another person like that. Aw, too bad. But I do appreciate honesty. Also, you're short. So, how about you? Would you like to be friends? I'm passing two. Aw, two in a row. Hey, hang on. You were at 705 the other day, weren't you? We're done here. Let's go. Cat, cat bag. <sighs> That's a bummer. But I know I gave him one of my cards. Why doesn't he obey? Well, because, Your Honor, my client is simply built different. And then I stormed out and we came back here. Sorry about that, by the way. I was just so upset. No apology needed. You did a fantastic job finding out about Alice. Yeah, it's all thanks to you, Lady On. Once Lady On had her on the ropes, she whipped out her phone and tried adding them all on Emma right away. You know, I'm kind of surprised we didn't just try recording her on a phone. Like getting some sort of recorded video. She probably wouldn't have seen us like poking a phone from out the corner. From what just we thought. Saw, she might know that she can use Emma to lure people into her jail. She gets them into her jail, then takes their desires so they'll do what she says. I suspect she's been doing this for a while now. I see. That does explain things. But what is her end goal? I can't imagine such awful behavior actually doing her any good. Ain't it the same as with Kamoshida? Well, it is. I mean, it is good for you. Until you get caught. That's a good point. She seemed to be having a blast being such an awful person. Whatever it is, she has the gall to set up that kind of tragedy on live TV. She isn't in her right mind anymore. The longer we leave this be, the more victims that pile up. And it's already gotten to be quite a pile. Now's the time to act. But just how should we act? Is there a treasure in her jail? That's the tricky part. I am picking up a faint scent of something treasure-like, but... What is a treasure? It's the condensed core of a ruler's desires. That's what gives birth to a palace and powers it. Usually, we just take the treasure to trigger a change of heart in our target. But what if the palace itself is the desire? Hmm, that's interesting. What if there is no treasure there? We can't change Alice's heart. Gotta commit some, like, Super Mario Galaxy, Bowser stealing Peach's castle kind of thievery. For now, let's focus on tracking the treasure-like scent Morgana mentioned. That should at least put us on the trail for clues. Question. Why must we change Alice's heart? Cause she's a bitch! Why? Because she's hurting people. Yeah, so that Alice too. only needs to be stopped. Changing her heart is unnecessary. Why do not- why do we not just kill her? No, beating her shadow won't help. Worst case scenario, it could wind up causing her to die in the real world. Death. That is an acceptable outcome. Dude, that's... I'm humanity's companion. I'm supposed to determine the best choices for humanity. Alice Hiraki makes people suffer every day. We should ensure she stops this as soon as possible. Why not do so?
Um. She has to own up to her crimes. I do not understand. I want to understand, but I cannot. Where is the flaw in my logic? I do see where you're coming from, Sophia. Alice is doing horrible things. We could just help all those people without caring what happens to her. The metaverse is serious. You can end a life without ever being endangered. Even still, we always choose to change someone's heart instead of harming them. It's part of the Phantom Thieves code. I mean, if you always if you have the option for something better, you should take the better option. That's right. Kind of pointless if we got to stoop to the bad guy's level to take him down. We never kill. We steal the desires of the wicked and make them change their ways. Mhm. Mm That's why we're the Phantom Thieves of Hearts. Phantom Thieves of Hearts. I've got it. Hearts. I see. I lack a heart. That's why I don't understand the logic of the Phantom Thieves. If only I could understand how hearts work. If I did that, I could become an even better companion. Sophia? I've got it. I will join the Phantom Thieves. You didn't already? I need to learn more about hearts so I can become an even better companion. May I join the Phantom Thieves? If I do so, I am certain I will witness many things about the human heart. I need to learn more about the heart and about the Phantom Thieves. You're already one of us. Thank you. Thank you for joining, Sophia. Welcome to the Phantom Thieves. Glad to have you with us. Let's pick our code name next. Ooh, now the nostalgia's flowing. Snowy, Sophie, Mochi. Snowy. Because of all the white? Sounds like a dog's name to me. It does sound like a name for a white dog. Or maybe an ironic name for a black cat. What? What are you looking at me for? Maybe we should avoid picking anything that makes her sound like a pet. What yeah, if like we Morgana. went along the same lines we used with Mona-chan? After all, we met her inside the metaverse the same way. Like, how about Sophie? That's basically her name. That's what I was thinking. I like it. You do? I want to be Sophie. Then you'll be Sophia in this world and Sophie in the metaverse. That's too similar, though. Like, that is... That is way too apparent. Radical, dude. <laughs> Jeez. You're already more human-like than when we first met you. I am constantly learning things. Thanks to the internet. I'm learning more words as I speak. She's watching my fucking stream. <laughs> she's, that's how she's learning words like radical. Wait, have I even said radical in stream yet? Okay. Okay, so we got a new member. Now we need to come up with our first mission. We're going to stop Alice. Good. This feels like our duty, considering we became phantom thieves to help anyone suffering. I was one of those people once. We may not know the victims personally, but reflect on us poorly as phantom thieves to not lend a helping hand. As long as there are people in trouble out there, we won't turn our backs on them. You're right. We are going to be the ray of light for everyone. That even includes Alice. I have registered myself as a phantom thief. All right, the phantom thieves are back in action. I can feel a strong bond with my friends. Ooh. Has to feel Harrison Helper. Good stuff. Good stuff. I'm so, I'm so glad I have pass appeal. Oh wait, no, we already have baton pass. Or damn, the bond feature has been unlocked. As the Phantom Thieves deepen their bonds, they will acquire various bond skills. Bond skills can be purchased with bond points by navigating to bond on the command menu. Bond points are acqui are acquired by raising your bond levels. It's like fucking, uh, what, what, what are they called? Bond moments from Agent Under Fire from that 007 game? Whenever you collect them and you, there's like a whole bunch throughout the game and then whenever you collect them it goes burn it, burn it! And you start collecting so many of them and it just becomes a fucking meme. It's great. Let's have that in the game. Yeah. 
The bot level increases throughout through socializing events in the real world, or by fighting battles in the metaverse. Our next step is to make the proper preparations. It's a fact that provision is prevention. We'll all need weapons and other supplies. Since you're the guy with all the connections, we'll leave the shop into you like always. I mean, we're already good on the status effect front. We'll get ourselves ready. Once you are too, just hit us up. Hey. Okay, let's get our supplies. Let's say we start with the closest destination head to Takemi Medical Clinic. Her medicine would sure worked wonders for us before. I'd feel way more reassured if we took some with us this time too. Hell yeah. What's yes, up? Sir, you all come in so suddenly, then leave in such a rush. What are you guys getting up to? Nothing. I mean, I, I feel like he would know at this point. And with the mayor's term expiring soon, public attention on the elections will be rising. The city councilmen's sudden confessions of their misdeeds may greatly affect the elections. I really hope you don't end up in the headlines or on TV again. Can't imagine that would happen again. Is this store even open for business? Huh? Hey, who said that? No one. Hey. A picture of a woman and a baby. Are they mother and child? Whoa. So this is what a phone looks like. Sure is big. Yeah, that's it. Honestly. Never really noticed how like the bottom part is there. That's like way bigger than a usual like phone, I would think is. Oh well. So one funny thing that happened uh, last stream, well first off, just from last stream, not only am I doing a different mic, but that's only like maybe a temporary thing. Uh, I, I have the game audio a little lower because it seemed a little loud last time. It's probably fine. Uh, one of the bigger things, or one of the things I noticed from last stream, uh, let, me, let me just talk to these two real quick. The Return of the Phantom Thieves is one thing, but never in a million years would I have expected to actually fight Alice. Anyway. But we have no, but we have to stop her before she's past the point of no return. You're just gonna walk into me right there, buddy. Your hunchback walking ass. I mean, I know how you feel, and he just okay. Let's get this taken care of so we can get on with our summer vacation. Hey. Here, take it. My treat. It's a can of Manta. Just a little something to start us off, right? Here's to getting back in action. I might be a bit out of shape right now, but I'll bounce back in no time. Manta. Like a Fanta. But yeah, uh, one thing that happened last stream, when I, because I think I uploaded it. Yeah, okay, it, yeah, it's on the VOD channel. The problem is, it got a copyright claim. And look, okay, I, a copyright claim is fine. He's unlocking mod skills. I, don't tell me, I know how to do this. Let's see. And it's nothing new to the channel. They're mostly bullshit. Like there was one legit one, Let's and that see. was because that was because of, like a movie song play, whatever. The problem is, it was it was for one of the songs in the game, and it was only in the Philippines. So it, it's only like monetized in the Philippines. Fine enough, whatever. Maybe there's some ownership things with there. Fine. It's not like oh hey, it's only it's only monetized in these countries, and it lists off like. The half of the countries in the world. No, it's, it's just the Philippines. Fine. Maybe it's something to do with that. But here's the thing. I, I would think that it was copyright from, like, one of the vocal songs or the opening song. Or, like, one of, one of the signature, like, noteworthy songs of the game. But no. It was it's a song when we first met Alice in the Palace. And it, Alice in the Palace. And it was just, like one of the more like uh, suspenseful songs like desire i think it was called that's all it was hmm. they're working even though no one's here they must be hard workers hmm. vending machine vending machine no okay hmm? oh and like it's fine like really i don't have any problem with it because I'm not expecting to like make money off of this at all especially at the moment and if one stream gets you know has to have ads on if one video or one VOD of mine gets copyright claimed it's fine it's just like a weird thing and not something I don't like you know if I don't have to have ads on a video 
I won't. Hmm? Is this the internal clinic you were talking about? Yeah, but there's a notice here. A notice. Closed for the summer. I will be attending an academic conference and will be out for the summer. Signed, Physician Tay Takemi. Oh, man, talk about bad timing. And at least we can still get some weapons at Iwaya's air shop, airsoft shop, right? If that's so. Is that the shop on Central Street, Street in Shibuya? I saw it while we were gathering information on Alice. Yeah, that's it, all right. Either way, let's head to Shibuya first, Rem. Book travel. This makes me very sad. This probably means that she's not even in the game. Fuck! So when I've played Persona 5, and in Persona 5 there are these things where you can create bonds with characters and then like even max them out. And then with the girl characters, you can even make that into like a romance thing. I didn't go for like a harem thing. I went for like one specific character, and that was Tay. That was the fucking doctor character. And now she's gone. Fuck me. Hey. I still can't get over just how useful Emma is. Just now for me, it put together an entire meal, gave me its nutritional breakdown, and even showed me the closest place with ingredients. All I had to do was ask what I should do about dinner. Pretty easy to see why people are such fans. But then I remember that this app is what lets us get into the metaverse, and I get creeped out all over again. Why are you using it? You know it's evil, why are you using it? Yo! Actually, to be fair, I mean, a lot of us do that still, so. What's the haps, chaps? Picking up supplies? I'm working on my crab mode right now. All those shadows in the jail were really starting to get to me. <laughs> I figure I'd be more used. I figure I'd be more used to them if I observed their real-world versions more. Maybe. Eh, it's worth a shot. And then Haru's over here, just kind of vibing next to the pharmacy. Pharmacy. I thought I was already connect concerned about how things were going in the city, but now that I know this is all, now that I know this is all part of some jail. <sighs> And I don't even want to consider how all these people are shadows in that jail. Yeah, it's rough stuff. Oh no. You're still here? It's the door to the velvet room. I may need her assistance again. I should probably go talk to her. Hey, Lavenza, how Welcome you doing? to the Velvet Room. The gears of fate turn yet again, bringing you close to calamity once more. While your hope may be the smallest of seeds now, and its true power unknown, by nurturing the possibilities within you, this seed shall sprout and become your strength against calamity. Now, I shall act in my master's stead and watch over you through your journey. Let's get down to business. Yes, I share the sentiment. As you already know, your power of the wild card allows you to wield multiple personas. By offering up your personas Persona. for execution, you are able to fuse them into new, more powerful ones. This is once more the key to overcoming the evil will spreading distortion. Due to my master's absence, I will perform the executions with my own personal fusion equipment. Like what? What, what, are, what are you going to use? Unfortunately, this means you will be unable to harness the power of personas you once harbored within you. However, this journey is sure to draw out your true potential should you make the most of your meetings. Which I won't. I mean, I will, but to like the laziest extent. Meetings. <laughs> Soon it will all be clear. Trickster, you have once again become a prisoner of fate. Where is Igor, that funny man? Unleash the chains that bind you, and take back the people's hearts, their desires. 
doing so will surely lead you to the hope that will drive off the impending ruin. I don't have a choice, do I? As long as your will is undeterred, I too will hold nothing back in supporting you. With that address, let us turn at once to Persona Fusion. In the Velvet Room, you can fuse or strengthen your personas. Visit here and continue to create more powerful personas. Use two personas to gain a new one. One plus one equals two. Wait. No, it doesn't. It equals one! Use a number of the personas you currently have to create a new persona. The personas used in the fusion will be lost. In order to fuse a given persona, Joker's level must be greater than or equal to the new persona's starting level. It's, it's the same as Persona, persona 5. To acquire. The Bicorn! It seems that it can gain My man. power. Choose which skill to inherit. Pass on skills, yes, yes, yes. Uh, Agi. Aki. Akuna. Restores the low amount. Ooh, ooh, fire. Or... I'll go with healing just because I don't think I'm gonna have to worry with fire because we have on. Is this the persona you'd like? I hope that's a, a good enough train of thought. Now, let us begin. Ooh, Iron Maidens. like that. I am Bicorn. Impure motives are what grant me strength. Here, take care of this mask for me. Mask of God. You've tapped into a new power. Yay. You can strengthen the personas you already have acquired as well. Yeah, it is it is basically the same. Ask you wish to strengthen it. Icorn. Level up. Ren's level is insufficient. Fuck. Oh, it probably wants me to level up our son. will you add? This is what you've chosen. Yeah, sure. Okay. Okay. Temporarily decreases attack for an area of foes, so I feel less bad about losing my defensive nerf. Or debuff. Call it debuff later. Come on. Or a fee. Returning already. Yeah, time to head back. Whenever you feel the need for more, come visit me at any time. I will always be by your side. Until next time. Farewell. Peace. Oh, we almost got perfect music timing. Off by a couple seconds. Seriously. Hey, you were out of it for a second there. Are you holding up okay? I hope you're not overheated or anything. Iwai's shop is just up ahead. Let's get you inside, pronto. And he's gone. Really? Awesome. Hold on. Iwai should be here, but it looks like they're closed. Looks like that temporary closed sign's been up for a while too. What should we do? Not getting medicine is bad enough, but if Wyatt's not here, we can't get any weapons either. Let's head back. We'll have to figure out something else. Let's gather the others and brainstorm at LeBlanc. Right. Minus for map. Kind of weird to just bring everyone back into the store. It's like, oh hey, let's all split up. Ten minutes later. Okay, Our everyone soft back. Shops closed. Tekemi clinics shut down for summer vacation. Like I know, I know it's still like a pretty condensed area. Like everyone's and everything's still pretty close together, but still. Where are we gonna get our weapons and medicine now? Talk about shitty timing. This is not good. Internet. We can't just return to the metaverse defenseless. 
Guess we gotta find some other stores. And that seems like it'll take quite some time. It'll never be the same. What's up? Have a problem? Perhaps I can help. If you would like, I'm happy to lend a hand. Oh yeah! Check this out, Sophia. We need supplies to take with us into the jail. Unfortunately, our usual suppliers are closed. This will assuredly impact our successes in the metaverse. Sophia, access the black market. Do you know if there are any suitable stores nearby? Why not just order supplies online? We could do that, but the delay between ordering and actually getting the stuff is way too long. Also, we were able to get much more effective medicines from our clinic than we could find online. No prob. The net has it all. Ryuji, is there something you want? Huh? What do I want? Right. Request anything you want. Uh, okay. A gold bar. <sighs> really? Don't be ridiculous. Ah, come on. It was just a joke. Nothing else popped into my head when she asked, so... I'm surprised okay, it wasn't food. I got it. Please wait. You'd think Ryuji would go for, like, a hmm? good bowl of ramen or something, what? but... I told you, you should have ordered food. Yeah, it'll be fine. That'll be fine! <laughs> Shit, this is probably just gonna be fake or some toy. Uh, is that real? It is an open box. Yes, my eyes can't be fooled. There's no doubt. That's real gold. No way. No way is that real. It's just a block of gold painted pyrite. Wow! Now I can open my cafe early. It's like a dream. <laughs> Th that needs to go to the police. Right away. Oh, wait. They even believe it showed up like this? Is this a crime? It's okay, everybody. I'm not even certain what's in there is actually a gold bar. For all I can't see it. For all I know, all it could right. be a severed head. Did that solve your problem? How'd you do that? I found an online vendor with expedited delivery. Time is no longer a concern. But a whole gold bar? Where'd you find that? The dark web? Correct, Butaba. It's fine. I broke no laws. That's exactly what I was thinking. The transaction was made with cryptocurrency. Oh, for fuck's sake. We'll send sake. you an invoice for reimbursement. We have to reimburse you? So, uh, how much did this cost again? At least a few million. Send it back? Send it back. Sorry, I didn't get that. Send the effing thing back! Hello? Expedited pickup! Thank you for choosing our services! He's way too enthusiastic. I don't trust him. I'm relieved they took it back, but... Or, I trust him with my life. So it's a gamble. <sighs> that definitely gave us some gray hairs. Jeez. Uh, thanks a lot for ordering that, Ryuji. Oh, come on! Who would have thought a gold bar would actually show up here? I've heard of one's mouth writing checks that cannot be cashed, but this is an entirely new level. Doesn't the service itself seem pretty awesome, though? That speed, it'll be perfect for anything we need. Let's ask Sophia to find some useful stuff for us. Yeah, like some Shall organs. I do that? Sounds great. Okay, I'll make sure to use expedited delivery. Sophia's shop is officially open. Finally, my dream of two livers can be accomplished. I'll never be- I'll never have to worry about hangovers again. In Sophia's online shop, you can buy and sell weapons, protectors, accessories, and items. The shop's inventory increases via story progression or after certain events. Make sure you're well stocked before entering a jail. There are also shops that which sell goods that aren't found online. Keep an eye out for good deals as you explore the city. Well, that was a ride, but 
I guess it turned out okay for us? Yeah, our supply situation's definitely fine now. We don't know what we'll be up against in the jail, though. Let's prepare as well as we can. But no more cool doctor. At the hideout, you can infiltrate the jail, use Sophia's online shop, and access the Velvet Room. Other features will become available as you progress through the story. Oh. Well, this is this is all very familiar. So we got the shop. This should be helpful. Oh, I love this style. This looks cool as fuck. I don't know what I don't know what the aesthetic is called, but I I I'm familiar with it. I very much like it. Having trouble deciding? No. Who is it for? Silver dagger, kukri. Who is it for? Which one? And my current one is at 44. I'll just get the kukri. I mean, I figure getting stuff for Ren is the best thing. I'm not even sure if I can control any other character. Probably can, but I haven't done it yet. They haven't told me how to do it. Also, this theme is a fucking jam. Pet shirt. I'll sleep agility too. This item's from Dozo Town. Having trouble deciding? Oh, I don't even have the money for it! Oh no. But I can sell. Are you sure? Are you sure? Actually, what accessories do we have? Which one? Quite a lot. But just some resistance stuff. I'm fine with that for now. Which one? Any good items? Yeah, we're, we're plenty good on the healing stuff right now. Uh. Which one? I'm not sure if agility will actually make me faster, but it's worth a shot checking. Worst case, it's more defense. I mean, not much better than like this stuff, but I can't afford that stuff. And this is only an extra 200 for extra two defense and the agility. I'm taking it. Yeah, I very, I very much like the style of this shop. This is very cozy. And just being able to instantly go out of it. Oh, that's that's so good. That's so good. Yusuke, what? What's going on? Look at how he... Okay. Yeah, fine. Like a rabbit. Uh, discuss. Mm -hmm. Oh man, this rules! When was the last time we had a brief in, in a hideout like this? <laughs> oh, settled down. Although, I admit it does have a nostalgic feeling to it. But just to be clear, our objective is changing Alice Hiraki's heart, correct? Right, right. You nailed it. And if we can figure out what this jail thing is while we're at it, that's even better. We need to return the desires Alice took from those people so they can go back to normal. Right. And at this rate, at this rate, everyone in the world would get turned to Alice's slaves if we don't act soon. Leave it to me. I'll help however I can. So the key to enter the jail is Wonderland. Before we use that, though, make sure we have everything we'll need for the infiltration. Got it? All right. Let's dive in the moment we're ready. Let us know when it's time, leader. And of course, I can save. That is not the save button. That's fine, we can check out the bonds. <sighs> uh, let's see where we go. Oh, it's locked. Okay. We have eight, so let's see. We can increase the chance to Harrison recovery. I don't know what that is. Add to perform what baton pass, the showtime gauge, gauge will be filled. Actually, yeah, since there's a baton pass, I could probably swap characters. But I'm not sure how that's going to work on this game. So I think I'm going to save that for now. Increase chance for masks to manifest. I might just want that anyway. Increase max HP, SP, that's... Increase money obtained after the battle. Chance to obtain items. Bond level will increase. Wouldn't I just want that at the start, just so I can get points faster? Or is... I don't know, because would spending the two points be cost effective? Increased the effects of healing items, score better deals at the shop. I'm gonna be a bomb maker. Oh, for fuck's sake, they have lit levels. Oh. 
Maybe if I had read the messages for the tutorial of this, I would know that. <laughs> Highwayman. I prefer Highway Star. Uh, Joker's Wild. Oh, it's locked because I don't have enough points for it. Okay. HP and SP to all party members at the end of battle. Yeah, that's really fucking good. Uh, money. I drop rate. Probably get the money first just so I can get more Let's equipment see. and stuff. Right? Yeah. I'll, I'll uh, hold off on getting stuff for that right now. And then equipment, I think we're good. Same with persona. I think we're good with everything. Boop. And. Boop. We're good to save. And good to stop Persona 5 Strikers for now. I, it's a little early, but uh, I also don't have as much time to stream tonight, but that's kind of my own fault. Half my fault. I'm not going to go into it. But uh, yeah, I figured it's a good spot to stop anyway, because I wasn't going to play for much longer, and I don't know when I'd be able to stop in the jail itself. So yeah, I think this is a good place to stop for now. So, next time we play this game, which I don't know when it'll be, at least within the next two days, and hopefully I fucking mean that this time and I don't have internet issues or anything like that, we will be heading to the jail and trying to stop Alice's bullshit. But until then, and for the rest of the stream, we've got some new Pokemon Snap to go and try and play. So if you'll allow me some time, I'm going to go ahead and switch over to that. Back in a minute.